Hey, what's going on, friends and family? This is Princeton Brown from Sonic Gold Productions, here to make your music turn into Sonic Gold. Back here again, and I got a new beat um, that I'm finishing doing the arranging on. So I want to show you guys how I arrange my um, beats. Particularly, this one is an R&B beat. And um, yeah, we're going to get into the fine tuning, maybe a little bit of mixing. I just want to let you guys in into my process and for you guys to learn and check it out. So um, by the way, um, if you are a mixing engineer, um, if you mix your own music, um, a lot of people struggle with mixing their own music. I have a mini course on my website you should definitely check out, um, completely free. And um, I'm going to show you the six different ways to further enhance your mixes right before you get to finalizing them. Um, a lot of times we finish our mixes and we think that we're finished, but really we're not finished. You know, we do version one, two, three, four. We do tons of different versions. And um, I wanted to create this mini course so that you don't go through the process of doing so many um, versions because there's certain things um, within your mix that you can do right at the end of it to really enhance it and um, hopefully make it be the last and final mix. So check that out, link is in the description. Otherwise, um, let's dive into this music. So here goes this beat I created. Um, nothing is arranged yet. It's all like, you know, just all loops um, going right now. And uh, I basically wanna arrange this out. Um, you know, I want to organize things, mix things. I wanna get it ready so I can send it off to um, people on my email list. Um, if you're not on my email list too, I have the link in the description. You can sign up on my email list. Um, link is in the description below so that you can um, get access to my Beats catalog. Um, I, I'll send new beats every week or every two weeks, something like that, um, depending on the week. Um, but you'll get access to all of those beats. Um, you'll be able to write to them, um, you know, and you'll just have really great beats to work with for your music. So link is in the description for that. But without further ado, let's get into it. stuff going on right now it's kind of like the vibe that i've built already but i want to obviously um you know i want to create ebbs and flows ups and downs so it's all in the arrangement now <laughs> getting a feel for the track. I want to probably bring in the bass later like this. Maybe right here we drop the drums. Maybe take out take out this um, sound here. So this could be like a verse right here. something to something to get the vibes um, going so let's find a nice clap that we can throw at the beginning there <laughs> Two, three, four. 
processing power. Um, I have this cross stick in the drum pattern. I don't know if I'm feeling that cross stick anymore. So I may take that out and just use the um, clap. So let's check it out. And uh, you may hear some outdoor um, sounds. Let me actually turn on this light. Maybe actually, yeah, let me actually close this. We got too much sounds from the outside. So there we go. All right, we're good to go. Let's keep it rolling. I want to add like a little delay on this clap. So we got that. Um, uh, one thing I like to do as well, just to add some more snap to my claps, is just add a little harmonics on the top end. So I'll use the Saturn plugin for that. and clean. And then um, I think for now, yeah, I'm gonna just keep the rim shot muted and just leave the kick. What I did was I have a lot of um I got a lot of different kick hits in here like there's not like a specific pattern I kind of just played it live so I think I want to just clean that up a little bit um so let's see let's see if we can clean that up we'll go from the verse Keep that same pattern here. So I just gotta move that. Let's keep it in grid. 
some of that over. kick stuff going on. So I'm going to use this pattern uh, for the kick. And another thing too is like, this is like an electric guitar type vibe. Um, so I'm going to bring that up with my other instruments. Uh, I just want this to go come in on the chorus mainly, you know, just to give the chorus some extra energy so let's keep the vibe going I got two hi hats kind of doing the same thing. Um, kind of like the more like crunchy one. Matter of fact, no, they're, they're nice. Like played together, they're nice. One thing I can do with this sound is since it's more of like a background type vibe, just filter out some of the high end and um, you know give it some more depth in the mix. Should be cool to come in starting the verse with the um with this vinyl hi-hat <laughs> that's dope and then like i got these 808s on the bottom i can bring in for some more punch <laughs> Another verse right here. So I like this hi hat. It's like a, you know, I call it like a trap hat. 
it's kind of doing its thing, but it's a couple of hits that are a little bit off. So let's kind of figure that out. Uh, my bad, y'all. Locking in the timing, making sure all the timing is good. You know, kind of like give this a reverb, kind of give this some space. So let's try this out. Let's get like a plate going. Large plate. <laughs> be cool to actually pitch it down. Let's try that. separates it from the other hi-hats. Let's play it again. Top one time.
to like switch up the sound because like these chords, you know, these chords here, um, let me solo them. Like that is pretty much the basis of the song, but sometimes, you know, listening to that repeated can get kind of old. So you want to switch up the tone of it sometimes. And um, I like using this trick here where I do like something like, I grab the drip plugin, shout out Kyle Beats. Um, and then I'll just find like a cool sound that's different and automate this in. So check it out. sound that is different and I can automate in on this um, second verse like this switch up the vibe you know <laughs> this to keep going um, you know I'll probably do a double verse here just because the groove is nice <laughs> thing to do I like to do that like if I double a verse sometimes I like to add like that sound that's in the chorus in the in the second half of the doubled verse which kind of leads into the chorus you know kinda, it's like ear candy like getting them excited so this synth for example that comes in on the chorus adding it here just a little tidbit of it um, gets people excited like oh is this the chorus oh no it's not you know and it gets them it builds the anticipation you know <laughs> Just that much, and then you keep going. And then I don't know, right here we could, you know, drop out the drums a little bit, maybe. Just so there's kind of like a break. Let's try this out. Yeah, kind of just let the bass do its thing. I'll probably 
copy that little um, that break that I did. I copy for the first verse as well, just like this. So it breaks right here. <laughs> Next, you know, we need to get some we need to get some symbols going in here. Um, crashes signify the chorus. the bass. So basically I want to take out this clap. This even more dramatic. Um, I'll add some sweeps. So, you know, some basic sweeps like this. So, we want to cut this. Um, basically, want to cut this in like half, like that. Make sure that's on stretch, it's gonna give you a better sound. Yeah, something like that. And then I wanna do one where we reverse it. Um, man, how did I do this again? purpose of just trying to arrange this track, I think we accomplished that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video and maybe learned some things about just arranging and how you can create, um, you know, tension and release. You know, that's what music is all about is uh, areas of tension, areas of release. You know, it's breathing in and out. And um, yeah, um, hope you guys like that. Um, subscribe to this channel so you get notified when these next videos drop. You don't want to miss them. Um, you know, get all this information and etc. Um, as well as, um, again, um, I have my mini course that I mentioned um, in the beginning of this video um, on my website if you'd like to check that out. If you struggle with mixing, um, particularly, you know, finishing a mix, you know, you're not sure if you're done with it or, you know, you, tr you think you finished the mix, but you end up doing like 10 revisions. Like if you need help with mixing, um, take this mini course is going to help you you know, solidify six specific things that you can do, techniques I'm gonna show you 
to finish your mixes, um, finalize them, and just make them so much more better with these six techniques so that you're happier um, with your mix. Um, you can check that out. Mini courses completely for free. Um, link is in the description below to check out that mini course um, on my website. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments below how you like this video and, and what else I should do. Um, what else would you guys like to see from me? Let me know. I'm always curious. So hopefully you guys vibe with that. Um, you guys have a blessed and great day. Peace out. This is Prince of Brown from Sonic Gold Productions. Turning your music into Sonic Gold. See you later. Peace.